Hi folks, uh, the question we're given here today is based off of the ellipse and it is often something that comes up for higher level pupils uh, doing one of these problems on the ellipse. Um, what we are given here is a major axis of the ellipse and a point P that is on the elliptical curve. We're not given the minor axis, we're not given focal points. That's the two bits of information we are, and we have to kind of work backwards basically to construct the ellipse, okay? So when this actually happens, uh, what we have to do is we have to take the information that is given to us and work with that to be able to work out the rest of the problem. So, first off, we are given the major axis, therefore we actually have two points on the major axis here. This here being one vertex, and this here being the other vertex. Okay, and if we are given the major axis, we know perpendicular to the major axis will be the minor axis to the middle. Okay, so I am not given the exact dimension of the major axis, so what I'm going to actually do is bisect my line. So pick a distance roughly bigger than halfway. I've therefore bisected my line now, and what I've got here is the actual direction of the minor axis. However, I do not know the length of the minor axis. So at the moment I'm just going to put in something like that. Okay, so I've got the major axis here, I have a desired length of it, and I have the minor axis here, don't know the exact length of it yet. If I have the major axis, I can actually put in my major circle, my major auxiliary circle, so I'll pop that in there now. So there's my major circle. And at this point, what we're actually going to do is we're going to work backwards from the concentric circles method. So often to actually locate a point, when we're given the two circles, what we do is we split it up into 36 degrees, where it cuts the minor circle, we go parallel to the major axis, where it cuts the major circle, we go parallel to the minor axis. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that method to help us out here. So in this case, we're given the major circle. Okay, So when we're given the major circle, and we're given a point on the curve, what we would actually do is we would project up from the point to cut the major circle, and it cuts it right here, and we would project it back to the center point. And if you think of that as one of our segments when we actually cut up the line. So the first step here is step one, go up from the major circle, where it cuts the major circle, step two, project the line back, that's going to go back into the center. And to find where the minor circle will be in the radius for the minor circle, from point P, project parallel to the major axis. And at that point there, that from there to there is the radius of my minor circle. So that's actually step three. So, so step one there, from the point up to cut the major circle, where I cut the major circle, step two, project it back to the center. And step three, from the point, out parallel to the major axis and where that cuts actually through the point the line where you step it back to the center this point here is very important from the center to that point is going to be the radius of my minor circle so i put in my minor circle there now and therefore i actually have found the length of my minor axis my minor axis is going from here down to here that's my minor axis. Very, very simple as long as you understand the method. Just to recap on that method, if we were to split up our 36 degrees, we'll actually do it completely. So I split up my circle there into 36 degrees and let's say I was finding a point in here. Well, we know the scenario where it cuts the minor circle, you go parallel to the major axis. Where it cuts the major circle, go parallel to the minor axis. And that gives us a point. And if you look at that, here it is literally symmetrical over here. It's the mirror image of it over here. Where we were given the point at the start, only we worked backwards, we went up to the major circle, back through the center, and then back here. And that gave us a point on our minor circle. Okay, uh, at this point then, you were given the, uh, we've got obviously the minor circle, the major circle, and now what we have to do is plot the rest of our points. So I'm just going to speed up the video and draw in the arc there now.
there we go. Uh, ellipse fully drawn, and literally that is exactly how you would construct an ellipse given a point on the elliptical curve and just the main axis. Hope you found that helpful. What I'm going to progress on to now is where we will be given just the minor axis and once again a point on the elliptical curve and how we would construct the major axis to complete the full elliptical curve. Okay. Right folks, so as I said, uh, this time what we're going to be doing is constructing an ellipse, only this time we're given the minor axis and P which is a point on the elliptical curve. So in this case, very much similar to like the last question, what we're going to do is kind of follow the same steps, only with the point on the curve we're going to take maybe just a slightly different route to finding the radius of the major axis to draw the major circle. So. First of all, we're given a minor axis. We don't know what the length it is, so what I have to do is, I know the major axis is going to be going perpendicularly through the middle of the minor axis. So I'm going to bisect my minor axis there, which is going vertically. So I'll just bisect that there. And project that over then. <clears throat> and I know my major axis is going to be sewn somewhere along that line there. So that's going to be my major axis there somewhere. Not sure exactly how we're just yet. One thing we do know about the minor axis, we've got two points on it. So there's two more points in our ellipse. We've obviously got a point here on the curve. When I have the minor axis, what I can put in is my minor circle. Okay. And like the last question, what we're going to do is we're going to work back slightly backwards, okay? So, what we're trying to do here is actually find the major axis radius. So what we want to do is we want to create that little triangle up here that we started to recognize that we see every time we're locating a point. So, if we're trying to find the major axis from the point, we go parallel from the point to the major axis. Okay, parallel from the point to the major axis to where it cuts the minor circle. Where it cuts the minor circle, what we're going to do is we are going to project through from the center out. And to make that triangle where we will get the radius of the major axis, then where the point is, we're going to go project up perpendicular to the minor axis, sorry, not perpendicular, parallel to the minor axis, up from the point. And what we'll actually locate there in that instance here is the radius of the major axis going from the center to this point here. So that is going to be the radius of our major axis. So if I have the major axis radius, I can draw in my major circle. So back down there. Now that I've got my major circle, that's my major axis. I've got two points that are on the curve, and now what I have to do is complete the actual problem. Okay? At this point here, we know what to do. We're going to split it up into 30, 60 degrees to get our portions, and then we are going to follow the concentric circles method. Okay, so what I'm going to do at this point is speed up the video. Right, there we go. That's how you would complete uh, an ellipse a curve given just a minor axis and a P, a point on the curve at the very start of the question. So what we did at the very start of the question was we got the direction of our major axis, we drew in our minor auxiliary circle, and from P, the point on the curve, we went parallel to the major axis to cut the minor circle. Where it cut the minor circle, we projected through the center point, through that cone point, out, up, 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 and from P, we went uh, parallel to the minor axis vertically and where that cut through that angled line that there gives us the radius of our major auxiliary circle and from that point then we were obviously able to go and complete the ellipse um, hope you found that helpful on those two problems there that was literally given the minor axis on a point and finding the major axis and given the major axis on a point and finding the minor axis okay